uh, the word, what this came from was I came, I, I took some notes at a uh, conference back in probably 1990, 91 time frame, and this I just extracted off of the notes, and the notes came from uh, Roger Greer, who was a, a friend who, who I knew because I sat on his advisory council. He was the dean of the School of Library and Information Management at USC. In fact, whenever he would become the dean of an informa the library school, he'd change the name, Library and Information Management. So uh, the, you always know whether Roger had any effect on the library school or not. If it's called SLIN, the School of Library and Information Management, you know that Roger Greer has been there. Okay, So Roger was making a presentation at a guide or share conference. I forgot which one, but... Uh, in any case, it has to be about 1990 or 91, because I retired from IBM in 1990, okay, so it's a long time ago. And Roger, although I have heard Roger talk about this before, uh, but, but he was making the presentation. This figure comes from that presentation. Now, uh, the pro one problem is the figure. I, I just made a picture of it. It's not big enough, it's not big enough for you to see on the screen. I mean, I, I can see it on my iPad, but... But basically, what this says up here, this is the professional life service cycle, the professional service cycle. And he was, he was differentiating the, uh, the professional person from the trade person, or from the technician, the professional from the, tech, from the technician. And he, he basically was defining the service cycle. And, uh, and there's four stages. You know, stage one is a di diagnosis and the analysis of need. That's stage one, in effect. It's stage two, once you diagnose it, then you prescribe a solution. That's stage two. Stage three is you implement the solution, or the application or implement the solution. And then stage four, you evaluate the results. And then, uh, depending upon the evaluation, you go into the cycle again, of the diagnosis. Uh, prescription uh, implementation or application and implementation and evaluation. Interestingly enough, these, these were his words. Okay, he had he the the, uh, the 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 initial time I saw them talk about this, he talked about diagnosis, prescription, uh, application, I think, and evaluation. Now, now, but you know, so you got diagnosis or analysis of need. Prescription or recommendation, he elaborated this so he had better understanding. Application or implementation, boy, well, those words are pretty common in the IT com community, IT vocabulary. And we do implementation work. And by the way, every implementation, I make that, uh, make that argument, the implementation is by definition a composite. Okay, it's a composite. The, this is, you know, here we go, here's the, here is, uh, Ibuprofen, uh, aspirin, you know, that's the, the application is a composite, is a compound, basically, in the medical domain. Uh, so, the, by definition, the implementation is a, is a, is a composite. So, so, then you do evaluate and so on, okay? So, what differentiates the professional, the professional diagnoses the problem and prescribes a solution. The technician applies the solution, the implementation, which is a composite or some kind of drug, or in this case, and then evaluation. Now, the implication of this is, you know, those of us who come from the IT community, we live here. Mm -hmm. We live in the creation of the composite. In fact, you know, that's, that's how our whole life has been in the implementation, in, in the composite domain. We, we build and run systems, so therefore we are, by definition, the implementers, or the apply, and we call our implementations, interestingly enough, applications. You know, it's the same, the same idea, but, but those are, that's, that's labor over here. This is techno technical. Uh, this is like the, the x-ray technician sits over here, the doctor sits over here. Okay, so the real value uh, to the end, uh, the end customer, in effect, is the, the ability to do the diagnosis and, and the prescription. Uh, this is just labor. Okay, so uh, if, if, if you don't have the diagnosis, over, if you don't have this over here, you're always, by definition, a solution in search of a problem. You'll never connect up the solution with the problem. There's, there's just no, you can't get there from here. So, uh, the, you know, I, the, the, when, I, when I first heard him talk about this, which is a long time ago now, but, uh, you know, the light bulbs start coming on. Oh, my gosh, no wonder... We have a problem. At that point in time, by the way, that's 20, 20, 30 years ago, I wouldn't have known how to deal with the diagnosis or the analysis, but I'll tell you, 
The diagnosis is dependent upon an ontology. Because nothing is repeatable and nothing is predictable until you have an ontology. Okay, so, so if you really want to be a professional, the foundation of the profession turns out to be an ontological construct, the classification, the identification of the laws of nature, you know, which enables you to diagnose where the problem is coming from, and then the prescription turns out to be, you know, so to address the specific points of the problem as identified in the diagnosis, then you create the implementation, the composite implementation, and then you evaluate it into the cycle. So, uh, and by, by the way, there's another thing. <laughs> the big money turns out to be sitting over here, and this is the small money sitting over here, because you learn, it takes you a decade or 15 years or a lifetime to figure out how to be really good at this. It, you go to trade school in a few hours, learn how to do this kind of stuff over here. So, you know, I, I, it was a really revelation. I, and, I, and I think that explains some of our problem. I was in Melbourne here a few months ago, and they were having a big argument about whether a, a, Enterprise architecture, or I guess it was enterprise architecture, is it a profession? And some people argue it's a profession. And I basically say, wait a minute, this is neither a profession nor a discipline. We do, everything we do is the best practices. We, we base upon our, you know, a, a trial and error over a lifetime. It's best practice. It is not a discipline because nothing is repeatable, nothing is predictable. And it's not a profession because we don't do diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And the foundation of all those things turns out to be ontology. I think that that, that gives you the order in which you can, you can now, uh, uh, things become predictable and repeatable. So I think that we're on to some really profoundly significant things. I, uh, not that I know everything in 2014, which is the time that this is, where this discussion will take place, but you know, we are, have the basis for, for building, uh, a lot on top of this. This is the this is foundational. So I'm excited about it. I appreciate you guys taking a few minutes to to work through this rationale.